This is the host and creator of Greek Peak. In this video, we will learn about some of the scary, notorious, famous, and fun creatures or beasts of Greek mythology. You have seen or read about these characters in your favorite Greek myths, such as the tale of Theseus and the Minotaur. This time, you get to guess the monster or creature based on a series of clues. No worries, if after three clues you're still not sure, an answer will pop up so you learn which creature those clues were all about. Let's get started. The first monster is half bull and half man, and he was a guardian of a maze called the Labyrinth. He was eventually slain by a hero called Theseus. Who is he? He was the Minotaur. The Minotaur was half bull and half human, and he guarded the Labyrinth and a genius maze made by Daedalus, the great Greek inventor. Eventually, with the help of a princess, the hero Theseus gets the better of him. Let's move on. The next creature is half horse and half man, and their species are known for being some of the best archers. One is called Chiron, and was the most famous of them all, since he taught many great heroes, such as Achilles. Who is this great creature? He was a centaur. With the body of a horse and the torso of a man, they could run fast and communicate with gods and humans alike. They were the best at archery, especially Chiron, teacher of Achilles. Ready for our next creature? This next one you might already be very familiar with. He is a flying horse and served Bellerophon on his quest to kill the notorious Chimera. He was born from Medusa and Poseidon, the sea god. Who was it? If you said Pegasus, you are correct. A flying horse, he is known for helping Bellerophon banish the China. His mother was Medusa and his father was Poseidon. The next monster was defeated by Bellerophon and it is a combination of lion, snake, and goat. To add to that, it even breathes fire. What is it? This was a Chimera. If you remember from the last one, Pegasus helped Bellerophon defeat it. Made up of a gruesome combination of lion, snake, and goat. Like I said before, it even breathes fire. Now this monster is a three-headed dog who guards the underworld. This creature answered only to Hades, the god of the underworld himself. Who was he? He was Severus. This three-headed dog was only controlled barely by Hades, so this was one ferocious mutt. Guarding the entrance of the underworld, I am sure the dead found him very foreboding. This next one's most famous of their breed was Polyphemus, and they only have one eye. Some make weapons for the gods to use. Who are they? This was a Cyclops. The most famous Polyphemus tried to eat Odysseus and his men on their many voyages, but did not succeed. Odysseus tricked him instead. Cyclopes only have one eye, and some make weapons for the gods. This monster was defeated by Hercules, and slaying this monster was part of Hercules' famous 12 labors. When you cut off the head, two more take its place. What is it? It is the Hydra. Hercules defeated it in one of his 12 labors, and when you cut off its head, two more take its place. That's a lot of heads. The next monster was defeated by Perseus, and it has snakes for hair. When it looks you in the eye, you turn into stone. What is it? It was Medusa. This terrible monster with snakes for hair was defeated by Perseus, and she could turn you into stone if you dared look her in the eye. It's time for our next creature. This one was part eagle and part lion with the ability to fly. There is no hero that has ever been recorded defeating it though. Which creature is it? It is the griffin. As this creature was half eagle and half lion, it was very fierce. Its flying ability gave it an advantage over other creatures. Surprisingly, no hero has ever conquered this beast. These next monsters were part goat and part man, and had a strong passion for nature, to say the least. They were known to belovingly worship the great god Pan. Who were they? They were satyrs. Satyrs were half man and half goat, and were strongly into nature. They also worshiped the nature god, Pan. This final creature may be the most majestic of all. They were spirits and like satyrs had a strong passion for nature. They lived and their essence was part of trees, plants, or other parts of nature. Who were they? They were nymphs. 
Like satyrs, they loved nature and were nature spirits. They even lived in trees or other plants. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel, Greek Peak, Ancient Greek Mythology for Kids. Goodbye!